So what can you expect when you sign up for the advanced topics of HPLC? Well, you're going to learn a huge amount about HPLC, even more than you did in the fundamental class. So remember in the boot camp, we took you from beginner to expert in one week. Honestly, we've gotten you up to about the 85% level of all the knowledge that's out there in the LC world. We've sort of distilled it down and we've gotten you to 85%. Now, let's get that last 15% in the advanced topics HPLC class by looking at different types of columns, different mobile phases, different detectors, different modes of operation. So the way I always put it is when you're running HPLC reverse phase on a C18 column with a dot array detector works for about 85% of the applications, but 15% have not been addressed. So that's what we address in the advanced topics classes. It's like opening up the toolbox and making your toolbox 10 times bigger by giving you more tools that you could apply to different applications. So one thing we'll do is we'll do a hillock run, a hydrophilic interaction chromatography. It's a hot topic today going on in HPLC. So we'll do a hillock run uh, of sugars using a refractive index detector. So different style of detector, different style of separation, uh, but still a really useful uh, technique. In fact, we're going to use that in the advanced class to tell the difference between adulterated um, different kinds of uh, syrups. So maple syrup versus adulterated maple syrup. Maybe we could tell the difference by looking at those individual monosaccharides. And then we're going to do things like um, UPLC versus HPLC. What is the difference? In my opinion, it's the same thing. But we'll talk about UPLC. We'll talk about the idea of using sub-2 micron particles and we will apply it. You'll actually do it here in the lab. So of our nine HPLCs, one, two, three, four of them are UPLCs. So you'll get a chance to work with those UPLCs and take an HPLC method a low pressure method and bring it up into the into the 21st century looking at the UPLC type columns. We'll also play around with the diode array detector in terms of the third dimension, in terms of that uh, actually collecting UV spectra and using those UV spectra to identify unknowns. So we'll teach you how to build a library with your diode array and use that library, just like you would on a mass spec, use that library to help identify unknowns in your samples. We'll then develop some calibration curves. We'll do a four-point calibration curve for four different compounds in HPLC. So we'll get to look at not only caffeine, but we'll look at things like um, uh, saccharin and aspartame and benzoic acid in a wide variety of samples. Then we'll play around with the auto sampler. Auto sampler sounds like sort of a boring little thing that sits there, but what I always refer to it as, it's a little robot that can do things for you. So we'll teach you how to teach that robot how to dilute your samples, how to derivatize your samples, how to inject your samples. Um, and then we'll even play around with some other modes of chromatography like size exclusion, gel fil uh, filtration, ion chromatography, amperometric detection, all that fun stuff. So as you get, you sort of get the picture that there's a lot of variety in the advanced topics of HPLC class, but the best part about it is that it tends to be customized for the people in the class. They tend to be smaller classes that allows you to spend time one-on-one -on -one with our scientists and really talk about your problems uh, and your interests. So the first couple of days are structured and the last couple of days are really sort of, hey, we have a lot of different things we could do. Let's set up that instrument. Let's play with that technique. Let's explore this in more detail. So that is all available to you. Once you've taken the bootcamp class, come take the Advanced Topics HPLC class and really hone your skills on HPLC.